Welcome to Soap Bliss. Today I'm going to show you how to clean and oil your machine. First I want to share with you a few tips. Number one, always look at your manual for the proper way to clean and oil your machine. I can give you tips and show you how I clean mine, but you always want to check the manual and make sure you're cleaning your machine properly. Each machine is different and needs to be oiled differently and cleaned differently, so always look at your manual first. Second, I suggest that you get your machine serviced regularly. I suggest going about once a year, depending on how often you use your machine. When you get it serviced, they're able to oil and clean and check on parts that you can't see or get to. Third, make sure that you do not blow air or use a can of air on your machine. That can leave condensation on the machine, which can damage the metal parts. Also, when you blow air into the machine, you're pushing that dust further into the machine and not pulling it out. So when you go to clean, make sure you're using a brush that will pick up the lint, and in some areas you can use tweezers. Fourth, make sure that you clean out the machine after every project. This will help to keep your machine running smoothly. Now, let me show you how I oil and clean my machine. The first thing that I do when I go to clean my machine is I unplug all my cords on this side because you don't want something to accidentally start moving. So just having it unplugged is a good safety precaution. Another thing is I like to unthread my machine just so I have nothing in there. Next, I like to take a lightly dampened, so barely any wetness to it, paper towel and just wipe everything down. So I first wipe the screen and then I'll just wipe up here. I'm not gonna touch anything metal, so I'm not gonna come over here and touch this because again, I don't want it wet because that condensation can build up and cause problems on your machine. Next, I come over to my presser foot and my needle and I remove those. Once they're removed, I take my plate off, which mine, if you just push in the back right corner, it will pop up and I just take it off. So you can see in there I have dust buildup for my last project. Now like I said before I'm not going to blow air into it because I don't want it pushing into the machine and I don't want that condensation building up on my metal pieces. So instead I'm going to be taking my brush. This one came with my machine but you can also look online and buy different ones. So I'm just going to start brushing along and I'm going to make sure that I'm not brushing the dust into the machine but the dust is sticking to my brush and then I'll take it over to my mat and pull that dust off. So really I'm using my brush to pick it up. I could also grab my tweezers and pull that dust out with tweezers. Once I feel like I'm done cleaning this area, I'm then gonna put my plate back on and mine just pops right into place. Next, I'm gonna go down to my bobbin. So I'll just open up this door and take my bobbin out. And I suggest just brushing off your bobbin case, just making sure there's no dust in it or caught in the areas up here. And just make sure that looks nice and clean. Once I've removed the bobbin casing, then I can use my lint brush and just start picking up dust all around here. So even the door I need to clean and just get all that lint and dust out of here. Now I'm ready to take out some of the pieces in here and clean them off and get really deep in here and clean it. So right here I have a release lever. I'm just gonna push that and pull this down. So this black piece right here, I'm just gonna use my lint brush and clean that off and get all the dust out of it. And then I'll come back in here. I'm gonna pull this piece out and get all the dust out of there and also get the dust out of in here. So I'm just using my lint brush to clean all this area. After I've dusted and cleaned out all the lint in here, I'm then going to put some oil in there. And my machine came with this little oil pen so I can just put a drop in there. And if you don't have one with your machine, you should be able to go to any sewing machine store and find it there. Now on my machine, it just tells me to put one dot right down in here. I'm gonna make sure that's in there securely. Then I'm gonna take my oil and squeeze out one drop. After I put the oil in there, I can then close this up and close this and I'm actually going to run my machine a couple times just to make sure that oil gets lubricated in there and then I'm going to run some scrap fabric up here just so when I do my next project I make sure there's no excessive oil that would get on my project. So here you can see I opened the door to where my bobbin would go and I'm turning my hand wheel here so you can just see it rotating and it's really lubricating and getting that oil where it needs to go 
So that way all those metal pieces are getting lubricated. And now I'm ready to close that back up and put my presser foot back on and put my needle back on and I'm going to sew a piece of scrap fabric. And now I'm all done cleaning and oiling my machine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more sewing tutorials. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.